Hi, my name is Paige Leonhart. I am 16 years old and I am a Paralympic swimmer and a current member of the Australian Dolphin swim team. Paige was a lovely little toddler. She did everything um, that normal children would do. She was very academic. She loved school. She was a social butterfly. She got along with everyone and anyone. She was a happy, bright, bubbly child that just wanted to adventure into anything and everything. Paige and I were both involved in a very serious car accident, so much so I suffered um, spinal injuries and nerve damage to my right hip. With Paige it was a little bit more serious, she suffered long term uh, internal brain injuries. She had to learn how to write and speak, um, she underwent a lot of speech therapy and occupational therapy. There was a lot of um, rehabilitation around trying to get um, her body functions uh, working again. She was also then later um, diagnosed with the cerebral palsy. So we had to figure out what was best for Paige and her body and what she could cope and manage with on a daily basis. It was Paige's choice to take up swimming. By the age of 11 is when Paige actually decided Oh, um, what therapy is one thing, but I'd like to do what the other kids can do. I asked mum to take me to um, squad training, and that's where I started junior squad training. And within the next 12 months, I was asked to move up to senior squad. And in that squad, there were multiple national medalists, and that was really exciting for me. And the next 12 months after joining senior squad, I I qualified for my first national championships, and there I won my first gold medal at 12 years old. 2012 is when I watched my first Paralympic Games at home and I said to mum, if, is there a chance that one day I can go to the Paralympics? By the age of 12 she'd gone from junior squad to senior squad and she made her first nationals within 12 months. She kept continuing to, to strive and to want more and I guess that's the most pleasing thing about not only the sport but the commitment in Paige is there's no giving up. It's a matter of persevering when she knew herself that she had her own challenges. But she turned her disabilities into abilities. My goals for this year are to go to Worlds and hopefully medal, get a medal. Um, I don't care which event, I just want to see if I can medal and see if I can be within the top three. Um, and then Tokyo 2020 is where I eventually want to get a gold medal. Um, I don't know if that's achievable just yet, but I think with three years to go, with a lot more training and a lot more help with the people that support me in my swimming career, I think it can be achieved um, and we'll just have to wait and see. We are very enriched by having variety in, in our lives. They helped financially fund our family to attend the Rio trials in Adelaide in 2016. So without that additional funding, um, not only for Paige but for the entire family, um, Paige wouldn't have been able to participate. She wouldn't have been in Rio. I'm actually glad that I can call myself now a Paralympian because I love swimming and I wouldn't be able to live a life without swimming. It'd just be very boring. <laughs> Variety have been nothing but a blessing in our life and we're so fortunate to have got in contact with Variety in Queensland and, and we're happy to have you as part of our family once again.